Hi everybody and welcome to the N Channel video blog and today what I want to talk about is making capacitor banks as well as just going into a little bit of the theory of how they work. So anyway, so let's get right into it. Now what a capacitor bank is is exactly what it sounds like. It's a whole bunch of capacitors gathered together and connected in either series, parallel or a combination of the two and it's all about what you want from the actual circuit. Now, in general, we use capacitor banks to actually withhold a potential amount of energy. And there are some other purposes, such as power factor correction or voltage uh, protection in a circuit where it will eliminate the spikes. But our focus today is just going to be on storing potential energy. So the first method you can actually do to configure your capacitors is just a basic series. Now, one of the things you're going to lose is your overall capacitance which is sort of a factor if you're looking to hold a lot more potential energy. But you're actually able to hold higher voltages. So if you can't get the voltage rating you want out of a single capacitor, multiple capacitors could be used to get higher voltages. And it's also possible to make it non-polarized, which is awesome if you're working with an alternating power supply source. Now the other type of circuit we can use is parallel capacitance. And now there's only really one advantage to using parallel connections with capacitors and that is your overall capacitance is going to be higher which means you're going to be able to store more potential energy. Now here's the model of what I plan to build. Now in my capacitor bank I use both series and parallel connections to get the benefits of both types of circuits. Now I don't want to spend a lot of time focusing on how to calculate the actual discharging of a capacitor but I'm going to recommend this hyperphysics links if you don't understand how a capacitor discharges and it goes into a lot of the theory and it does the calculations for you and it's just an awesome program if you need to learn how to do this.